this video we're going to talk about the root test. And the root test is a pretty fun little test. It helps us out in several situations. Uh, we use when u of k involves a kth power or a kth root of u. So let the series for u of k be a series with positive terms. And suppose that rho is the limit as k approaches infinity of the kth root of u of k, or uh, the limit as k approaches infinity of uh, u of k to the 1 over k. If rho is less than 1, it converges. If rho is greater than 1, it diverges. If rho is equal to 1, it's inconclusive. We've heard that before on other tests. So let's take a look at what we mean by this. So here we have a series e to the 2n over n to the n. And we'd like to use the root test. Well, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this as the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of e to the 2n, n to the n. Now, we can think of that as the limit as n approaches infinity of e to the 2n over n to the n to the 1 over n. Well, if we were to distribute this exponent top and bottom, things would start to reduce, and we would get the limit as n approaches infinity of e squared over n, which is clearly a low high, and a low high is always 0. Since 0 is less than 1, this thing will converge. Let's try another one. In example 2, we have n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 all to the nth power. So same idea, limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 to the n power. Uh, the nth root and the n power would cancel out. We would get the limit as n approaches infinity of n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. Well, that's the same same. So clearly, we're going to get a 1 half. 1 half is less than 1. So this thing is going to converge. Let's do one final example. We have uh, the series 5n minus 2 over 3n plus 1 to the nth power. And I think you see where this is going to go. We have the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of 5n minus 2 over 3n plus 1 to the nth power. The nth power and the nth root cancel out, leaving us with the limit as n approaches infinity of 5n minus 2 over 3n plus 1. Well, that's also a same same, but this time we have 5 thirds, which is greater than 1, which means that this series will diverge.